Hi everyone, uh, this is a simple tutorial on how you can export your timetable from iSAMS and import it into your calendar. It doesn't necessarily have to be an Outlook calendar. The file you're going to be downloading from iSAMS is an ICS file, and this is supported by your Google Calendar, by iCalendar, your Outlook Calendar, and most calendar programs. So why would you want to do this? Well, first of all, it's an easy way to keep track of when you've got lessons because your calendar, your timetable is in your calendar. Secondly, it also helps other people know when you're teaching, because if they're trying to schedule a meeting with you or an appointment with you, the times when you are teaching and these are scheduled in your calendar will mark you as busy. Now, this is a really simple process and you're going to be uh, creating basically a file that you're going to import into your calendar for each term, for autumn, spring and the summer term. OK, so let's get started with this because it really is a simple process. So first of all, I want to show you my calendar here. So I've already imported my calendar for the first term, the autumn term, which is in starts in September. And you can see all my lessons here have been imported. But if we go down, we can see that the spring term here has not been imported. OK, so I'm going to do the spring term now as an example to show you how I'm going to populate my calendar into Outlook. So first step, what we're going to do, we're going to open up iSAMS. So here I am in iSAMS. The next step I want to do is to open up the little wizard bar up here. So if you don't have this open, you just click on this icon here and that wizard bar will appear. If you want this to be docked at all times, simply click on the little arrow button here, click on dock and it will stay there. If we scroll down, down to the bottom here, we've got view teacher timetable. Now you can find other table timetables here from here, from students and so forth, but we're just gonna look at the teacher timetable. From here, you're gonna find yourself. So I'm just gonna scroll down to P because it goes in alphabetical order of last name. So here I am, Nigos. And here I've got some options. I can either view my timetable, I can export it as an Excel file, I can export it as a PDF, but here I'm going to choose export timetable to iCal format. Dot ICS. As soon as you tick this, you want to choose the term which you want to export the timetable. Okay, so um, we just download the term we want. So for 2024, I've already imported the autumn term, so I'm going to import the spring 2025 term. Click on that, and all I have to do now is click on next step. There you go, operation is complete, and I simply click on this to download my calendar. There we go, and there you go. It's just downloaded this here. I can close this. Now I can go back and export the next term. So if you want to download all three terms in one shot, that's entirely up to you. I don't suggest that. I'll tell you why, because once it downloads it, it saves it in your downloads folder as teacher.ics. So when you download the next one, it's probably going to overwrite the one term with the other term. So the best bet is to import the first one and then do the next one. Okay, so here's my teacher.ics file for the spring term. I'm simply going to, let me just load up my calendar as well. I'm gonna bring my calendar in this screen. Here it is, okay, uh, there we go. So what I want to do now from the downloads, now I've simply done this, I've brought this over so we can see when this imports into Outlook. So I'm gonna double click on this file it gives me this message, right? Do you want to open this calendar as a new calendar or import it, uh, import its items into your calendar? Well, I want to import it. I don't want to generate a new one. If you do want to generate a new calendar just for your timetable, then click on open as new. But I'm going to import it into my current calendar because if I've got other appointments, I want to schedule them around my teaching period. So I'm gonna click on import. And there you go, imported. So this is the spring term already imported for me. Okay, so very easy. So what I have to do now is simply go back. I'm gonna delete this one, delete that one. I can now go back to ISAMS. Again, go to my view teacher timetable. Select myself, choose that one, and this I'm going to choose the summer term. Click next step, 
download that it's downloaded go to my downloads folder double click on this i should have that message somewhere so i'm just going to minimize all this so just get rid of all that there it is there import and now that's just imported the last term there you go all the way up to june 24th which is the last day of my teaching okay i hope you found this useful I hope you learned something new and if you did you know the drill make sure you like make sure you subscribe i'll see you in the next video tutorial take care bye bye